Quick disclaimer, strong language in the bloopers. Stick around. Howdy y'all, welcome back to Guns and Barbecue. If you haven't noticed already, it's going to be another screwdriver video. This one's just going to kind of give a quick overlay of different types of screwdrivers that you're going to need um, if you're going to do any gunsmithing. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the subscribe button, come back for more uh, gun and barbecue content. And with that, let's get started. So, um, first I've got up here some very large and long screwdrivers. Uh, these are just some Craftsman. I picked them up at Sears. Um, I might tell you just how long ago I got them. It's actually been about probably 10 years ago. Um, but these come in handy, these longer screwdrivers, when you're trying to do something uh, where you're going to be removing, say, like a gun stock, especially on your lever actions, where the main screw or bolt that is holding on your stock to the receiver is actually under the butt plate and recessed in, oh, close to a 8 inches, give or take a few inches, depending on the gun. Um... So, like I said, I've had those for a long time. They definitely come in handy. Uh, go to Lowe's, Home Depot. Like I said, I don't think Sears is open anymore, are they? Uh, plenty of places to go get your tools, though. Even the cheap Harbor Freight ones will do fine. Um, you know, it's just a screwdriver. Uh, and it's going to be a screw that you're not going to have to worry about anybody seeing. So cheaping out on those I don't think you're going to have an issue unless the screwdriver itself breaks but hey that's what you get when you cheap out sometimes so take it or leave it but Craftsman's break too so next you guys remember this guy this is out of my Weaver set just a quarter inch bit driver um, you saw all the bits in the last video you got a lot of options um this is usually for just, you know, breaking stuff loose first. For example, on your revolver, um, you know, removing a screw on the side plate, it's going to be tight. So, break it loose with this, and then you want to move on to your precision screwdriver. And these are nice because they're lightweight, so if you do slip off the screw or something, there's a lot less likelihood that you're going to end up marring up the finish on your gun. It could still happen, but not nearly as likely. Uh, this one I just got on, again, Amazon. Um, I was actually just looking for a glasses screwdriver, and this set popped up for like $15. Um, comes with a bunch of little bits and stuff. I'll show you that real quick. Um, and honestly, I really like the bits they seem like a pretty good quality and there's a like a hundred of them to choose from and they're supposed to work in video game controllers and cameras and all kinds of neat stuff so I figured you know what for $15 I'll give it a try and after I got it I was like you know what this wouldn't be bad in my uh, gunsmith toolbox everything like I said seems to be working out just fine so far so knock on wood we'll see how it goes um, and then you just reverse the process, obviously. You, uh, reset the screw with your precision screw, screwdriver. But instead of using your quarter inch bit driver, if you want to get real fancy or technical, I would recommend the Weaver Fat Wrench, I believe they call it. Uh, this is a torque wrench screwdriver. Um, it's in inch pounds I believe it goes up to 50 inch pounds don't quote me on it you can look it up if you are really that inter interested but it's really easy to use you just pull this knob up here and twist one way or the other um, and then if you can find out the torque specifications for the screw that you're tightening down set the wrench to that torque specification and torque it down nice and snug never have to you should never have to worry about it coming loose after that but 
hey, there you go. So, just a quick little video on screwdrivers again. Hope you like it, because, um, you know, we're just screwing around, right? Oh, uh, that was a terrible freaking joke. Sorry. Um, well, as usual, thumbs up, thumbs down. I appreciate all the activity on the page. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, how I'm doing, if anything you want to see. Um, most of all, hit that subscribe button. And So, until next time, I am Guns and Barbecue saying, hey, Keep your guns firing and your smoker smoking, and we'll see you back. Hey, what do you know? I finally came up with a ending to my video, so I hope you like it. See you guys later. So, again, um... Fuck, now I forgot where I was. Precision. God damn it. The stock is usually held first. Fuck. Not mar up your gun or anything. After you break the stuff loose, you can move on to a prescription... Pre pre Fuck! I am Guns and Barbecue saying keep those. Fuck. By the way, that is the Wheeler fat wrench, not Weaver. That is a Wheeler.